The Sugar Act provides for constitution of sugarcane pricing committee comprising representatives from the Kenya Sugar Board, Kenya Sugar Manufacturers Association and the Kenya Sugarcane Growers Association. The pricing committee is mandated to review prices based on a 50-50 formula between growers and millers as determined by the cane sucrose content. However, that has been far-fetched. In Kenya, we are, we are paying we are paying cane by weight. In, 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 in the most developed parts, they are paying cane by quality. Yeah. Yeah. The sucrose yes. content. When a farmer is paid by tran, um, he does not benefit from the byproducts. This formula essentially ties the price of cane to the price of sugar, and that essentially is what we'd call the floor price. So if the miller feels that he wants to pay more, he can pay more. And therefore for that miller to be able to make anything out of, of, out of that trade, it means that his price of sugar must go up and that hits the consumer directly. Communities economically depend on sugarcane, posing a great risk to their socio-economic and infrastructural development. Credit is offered on promises based on profits made from cane harvesting. Moreover, income from sugarcane is used for buying other nutritious types of food. Na unajua hiyo miezi mimi miezi 24 hivi leo ulikuwa umepanda kwa shamba na ukingojea na madeni bado na anakaa kando tu yanangojea hizo pesa. Kwa hivyo unapata kama huna mipangilio mingine ama huna mimea ingine ya chakula unapata kama hiyo inaumiza. Unless umefundisha watoto na ambaye utausa samba ni ufundise watoto ndio watumie vile chakula unasa kutumia mzuri. The owners of sugarcane end up living as paupers as other stakeholders enrich themselves. We have done some calculations and I think it turned out to be a bit pathetic that a sugarcane farmer earns less than a household per month. Actually, that's the reality. <laughs> the social impact of such kind of an industry ranges from rising crime, increasing poverty, declining yields, non-payment of delivered cane, deteriorating infrastructure, HIV prevalence, dysfunctional families, among others. Kulima wa miwa anango chapata miaka miwili diyo karo ya fisi italipwa ndiye atanunua plangeti ndiyo siku hiyo labda watakula nyama ndiyo siku hiyo labda mama atanunuliwa nguo kama mzee atakuwa na zile fikra culturally men dominate over women when it comes to land inheritance farming and sharing of sugarcane profits na kuna wengine wa mama wanapalilia miwa msa naangalia tu hata naweza panda jamba abalilie mwenyewe aenda akate miwa lakini pesa ikiruti kwa nyumba ni mfurukano tena changa hapa tena pia brewing iko hali ya juu what if you was we changa i wish hata mngekuja saa nzuri mnge mngejionea mambo pa tumekuja saa mbaya it's a man's world. The social impact of the industry on communities has created a parasitic world that preys on itself. <laughs>